Oh, I've got enough. I've got enough paper to get this. Level three. Heck yeah. Let the good times roll. So I think I have to go back through this nonsense. Oh wait, did this get drained? I believe it did. Heck yeah. Nest up here. Oh, no. Not quite. Oh, it got really red in here. I got a few and some shit's about to happen. Yep, sure enough. Bruiser brother. Oh no! <laughs> Not these guys. Oh crap. Ah! I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Wait! I just saw a teleporter. But before I get that, I need that 10th key. Oh, is it worth my life? Oh, ah! Come on. Yes. I'm safe. And they got a hill shot. Not too shabby. Hey, sucker, you can't get me. Alrighty. Uh, but how the heck do I get out of here? Oh, here we go. Well, ah! that was. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> you ain't got nothing. I'm the ultimate champ. I'm the ultimate badass. Let's see. Shotgun explosive. Ooh. Oh. Oh no, I want to go get that com I want to get the super shotgun. That was back at like the beginning. I got to backtrack. Oh, jeez. I hate navigating through these modules. It gets to be such a labyrinth. Okay, I think I went this way. 
Yeah, this way and then this way. Down here. He, he, uh, okay, I think I'm going the right way. Ah, oh, darn it. Yes, this is what I'm after. Super shotgun. Hehehe. <laughs> Alright. I'm ready to rock and roll now. Yeah, might as well get another life while I'm at it. You are now level 4 max! 150 speed damage health armor. Wow. Now nah, I'm really ready to kick some butt. Now, if only I could find that BFG. Okay, this room's already been cleared out. There ain't nothing more in here for me to do. I already got that. Like I said, the only thing I don't like about these sort of snap together type of maps with like all the different modules is just, I don't know, it's just really easy to get turned around, you know? Unless there's something about them that's like really, actually like it really helps when you have that sort of custom geo, uh, like the, the swamp stuff and the things that serve as like sort of a visual marker to let you know that you've already been in an area. Because otherwise, you just sort of... can't really quite remember where to go. At least I can't. Can I get up there somehow? No. I already got that. I already got that. Is there anything up here? Yeah, that's my biggest complaint with just this sort of snap together. I mean, I guess this isn't... I wouldn't classify this as a, uh, a standard snap map. I think I would classify it as a hybrid because it's got both standard and custom geo elements to it. Oh, this is probably frustrating for whoever's watching. But I'm trying to figure my way out. I feel like I keep going around in circles. I was just in here. Ooh, jump boots. Haha. <laughs> now I can double jump. Okay. Okay, so this area got drained, I remember that. And... here we go. <laughs> Where'd you go? Alright. And that portal took me somewhere. There's the thing over there. Okay, goes to here. Micro missiles, shotgun explosive. Eh, I'll save my life. 
save my favor for another life, maybe. Blob Stomper Jr. I killed your father in the Ethereal Shard campaign. But now he's out for revenge. Ha ha, you went down easy. Uh oh. What? Defeat the Guardian Saxus? But I couldn't read all that. Oh, but this area got drained. Oh boy, I'm not liking this. Uh, boy. Oh. this oh my god he just slid down the rail that was amazing Lockdown apparently. Uh oh, more Bru Bruiser Brothers. Oh no, I'm really not in good shape. Oh no. Oh, you got me. getting swarmed. This is all bad. No! 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 Get the health. Yes. Oh, 
Oh boy. Oh boy, come on, hell shot. Oh no. Oh, come on. now clear you're all clear kid now let's blow this thing and go home all right which way do I go now uh, what it the sky was doing something funky for a second all right I'm very grateful for this ammo box let me tell you Now, there should be a way out of here. Oh, here we go. Yes! Wait, Ethereal travel into the unknown. That feels like a setup for the next level. Alrighty. Do 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 do. Well, uh, unfortunately, because I'm not playing through the server, I don't get to place on the leaderboard, nor do I get to vote it up, which I would, because uh, I thought that was a fun map. I really like the the uh, the currency dynamic with the uh, earning favor and collecting key cards, because on one hand, you know, with the favor, you get uh, you get to accumulate that sort of currency for just any time you kill a demon or any time you glory kill so you kind of have that sort of constant uh, you've got that sort of constant uh, accumulation of uh, that that sp that currency element that you can always sort of use to spend and uh, with the key cards uh, you can only get those from the guard the uh, the dead guards I guess or whatever they're whatever they're called uh, and that is it, it seemed like that was sort of substituting for the uh, secrets what would have been secrets in this map is that that's sort of the thing that you're supposed to uh, sort of search around and hunt for is these sort of guards that are scattered about that you collect the key cards off of and that was a good element too because it gave you something to look for as you were playing uh, I think the enemies well actually I would say as far as the difficulty of the enemies, maybe slightly on the difficult side. I mean, I kind of get the balance because it's like, on one hand, you know, you're giving the player all of these lives and you're giving them, you know, you start them out with three lives, you give them the opportunity to accumulate more lives, uh, both through spending favor and through the key cards uh, and through the power cells, as I found out. So, uh, you know, I mean, it makes sense to have this level air slightly on the difficult side because you do give the players so many lives, so I'm not going to moan about that. Uh, yeah, um, the visuals I thought was nice. I thought he did a good job with the, the whole uh, making it feel like you're in like some kind of a toxic sludge factory or something. The whole toxicity theme or no sorry radio <laughs> thinking of another map radioactivity theme uh i think they pulled i think he pulled that off pretty well uh with the uh with the environmental effects and uh the the green sludginess 
Uh, I rather like that. That was that was that was well done. It, it sold it pretty well. I also liked how there were certain areas that were full of slime, and uh, and then you got to drain them later on and, and backtrack through it. That's another thing that I recall from the uh, Ethereal Shard Cam. It's funny this this map sort of echoes a lot of very similar things from uh, the Ethereal Shard campaign that Shades Master did. Uh, I mean, I just can't help but notice that there's so much similarity. Um, very, very good map overall. I liked it. There were a lot of, you know, it wasn't... Uh, I liked how there were the different mechanics of earning the favor plus finding the key cards. And uh, then there were sort of the power cell things thrown in. It was just enough to keep it interesting. But at the same time, it wasn't so much that it was kind of like confusing and overwhelming. Like I feel like at first, you know, it took me a minute. But once I got it, uh, it, it was pretty It was pretty simple to figure out, honestly. Uh, and, and that's walking the fine line of uh, you don't want your map to be uh, so straightforward that there's really nothing to it and it's shallow and it's not offering very much but at the same time you don't want to pack in so much you know content and I shouldn't say content you don't want to pack in so many different mechanics that it becomes confusing and overwhelming and I think this map actually did a very good job of having just enough different stuff in there to keep you engaged but at the same time it's sort of it's simple enough and it's uh, straightforward enough that you can grasp it pretty easily and and it really enhances the map I, I really enjoyed that a lot uh, Globstopper Jr. <laughs> Another thing in common with the Ethereal Shard campaign that's pretty funny and he was actually a lot easier I believe than the original Globstomper uh, it went down pretty quickly um, yeah, good campaign, or no, I shouldn't say campaign, good level overall. Um, I guess I should get into my favorite and least favorite parts about this map. Uh, my favorite thing? Hmm. I think my favorite thing about this map has to be... Uh, the whole currency system that uh, that was used as far as the uh, accumulating favor and uh, you sort of Easter egging around for the key cards I think that was all pulled off very well and uh, and it really worked to enhance the map and I, I think it was just very well done it, it kept things very interesting it added that extra level of uh, sort of purpose to what would have possibly otherwise been a very sort of straightforward map it, it kept things very interesting and uh, I really enjoyed that aspect of it I enjoyed uh, you know you had you also had a lot of choice you know you could choose how you decide to spend your favor you could upgrade certain weapons or you could uh, you know you could uh, get the extra lives so you know it really put a lot of choice into the players hands as far as what how they just sort of decided to spend uh, that currency that they gained and of course finding the guards and getting their key cards that was also fun because you know you got to sort of hunt around for that so that whole uh, that whole dynamic of course I I think that was probably my favorite thing about this map my least favorite thing ah oh, it's kinda hard to say there wasn't anything I feel like there wasn't really anything that stood out as being you know bad like sort of just objectively just not good about this map I mean I think everything was pretty much pretty pretty good I, I I'm pretty spot on but you know what else would you expect uh, at this point from Shades Master I mean coming off of his ethereal shard campaign uh, this guy has got a lot of experience doing a snap map so any kind of okay um, my least favorite thing probably I would say would have to be, uh, there were just a lot of, t there were just a few times in this map where 
I just happened to get turned around and and it 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 was just sort of like I lost my sense of direction and it's just something that happens with a lot of these module maps where you know I mean I'm just not that good naturally with sort of my sense of direction with this kind of stuff because um I don't know I mean a lot of rooms just kind of sort of start to look the same and it's easy to get turned around and for me it was a lot of backtracking and trying to sort of figure out where I was supposed to go and I'm not really sure what could have been done to make that different other than just sort of maybe try to put more type of memorable stuff into the rooms uh, to make them stand out more. I mean, that's kind of all I can say. Uh, yeah, I mean, there wasn't there wasn't a lot that was like objection objectively wrong with this map. Uh, oh, one thing I might say though is uh, when I go to grab the key cards from the the, the guards. And it gives me that text that says key card found. I really feel like the, the, there's a sound you can put in where it's a voice of somebody saying key card found. And I just felt like that was just sort of missing. And it didn't, it didn't make the map bad or anything like that. But it just was something in my mind that just really sort of stuck out as like, ah, if it was me, I really would have wanted that, that, that key card found soundbite to be in there just because it it seems so appropriate in that situation where you're grabbing it and uh, I don't know every time I picked it up and I saw that I just oh that that sound just came into my head so to me I would have preferred to put it in obviously it's up to uh, the map editor what he feels is appropriate it might have been one of those things where like uh, I I think this map actually had a hundred percent network on it if I'm not mistaken. So I think what could have happened is that uh, maybe that sound was in originally, but then Shades Master was like, uh, you know, getting to that point towards the end of his map where he's like really desperate for m any memory he can possibly get. And he's like, well, what can I delete just to get a little bit more memory <laughs> so I can finish this thing? And he's like, okay, the, the, the sound bite here, it's not necessary, I'll delete that, so. You know, maybe something like that happened. Um, but yeah, <laughs> that's, uh, you know, just th those are my only nitpicks. Just sort of getting turned around a lot and just certain sounds that I felt, uh, I, I felt ought to have been in there uh, were not. Uh, but other than that, great map. I would have easily voted it up. Had I been playing online, sadly, my internet is being totally screwy, so I can't do it. Uh, but it was a great map. I rather enjoyed it. And that's uh, Radioactivity by Shades Master. I'd recommend it. Give it a play. Alright, until next time, peace out.